Hey friends, welcome back to my channel today. We are doing some Halloween decorating. I'm finally getting this video up for you guys and I'm so excited. So today we are going to be switching out a lot of my fall decor and switching it out for some fun and spooky Halloween decor. If you're new here, hi, my name is Katie. I am a work from home mom to one little boy who is two years old. His name is Grant and we live in East Tennessee. And Grant is so into Halloween this year. He says Halloween all the time. He knows when he sees ghosts and jack-o'-lanterns that it is Halloween. So I was very, very excited to decorate this year. And most of my decor is just really fun pieces that I have collected over the past few years. And I'm excited to share all this inspiration with you guys. So we are starting here on my entryway table. I removed my fall tiered tray and my lamp. And we are going to be setting up a spooky little Halloween village here on the top. The two village houses you see and all the little characters are a set that my mom bought years and years ago from Walmart when I was a kid and she passed that down to me a few years ago and I have used it ever since. So I'm adding those on either side of the table and then in the middle I decided to add my new Halloween ceramic tree that I purchased this year at Michael's. This is one of my most favorite pieces and I was really excited and I love the way that it turns out all lit up at night. I decided to leave up this harvest sign up on the wall that I got from Hobby Lobby this year to continue the spooky vibes. I'm going to be adding a little bit of a spider web up here as well as the plastic spider up in the corner. I'm also switching out the decor on the bottom of the entryway table. I wanted to add this light up jack-o'-lantern. I got that years ago from Kohl's and the house to the right that also lights up. My mom just gave that to me this year. It's also from Kohl's and both of those operate on a timer. So they come on every day about 430 and go off at 1030. And it is just so nice that I don't have to turn them on and off every time. Okay, now we're moving on to the rest of the living room. On the couch, I'm going to leave the throw pillows the way they are, but I'm going to be switching out my seasonal blanket and adding a little bit more buffalo check as well as a Ray Dunn Halloween pillow. To this side table I'm just going to add another metal Halloween house and switch over my magazine to a more festive one. 
And now we're working on the corner cabinet. I decided to leave this one mostly fall decor. I switched out the plate on the top shelf to a Ray Dunn Halloween plate and then just added another Ray Dunn pumpkin here on the bottom. If you are decorating along with me today, I'm so glad that you're here watching for inspiration. I know this video is going up a little closer to Halloween, but it's still fun to see new ideas. Here on this bench, I'm gonna switch out the pillow for a Ray Dunn spooky pillow. And then adding some more spider webs onto this arch that I got from Hobby Lobby. Okay, now we're moving on into the kitchen and dining area. I'm going to switch out a couple things here in the peg rail shelf area. The first thing I did was add this Hocus Pocus sign to the window frame. The Hocus Pocus sign is from Walmart this year and it was a little over $4, such a cute piece. Um, beside it, I'm going to add these two little Halloween stuffed characters. My mom got those for me at Aldi a few years back. And then to the pegs, I'm going to add a Halloween mini wreath from the Target dollar spot. Now we are working on my little diffuser corner set up here on the kitchen counters. I'm going to change out the tea towel on this mini ladder I picked up the ladder from Hobby Lobby and the little tea towel is from Home Goods. And then I'm adding this hanging All Hallows Eve sign that I got at the Target dollar spot a few years ago. I'm gonna keep the fairy lights up because I love having this corner lit up at night. And that is going to be all for this little corner. Okay, now we're going to tackle the stove area. I'm going to switch out my fall candle with this. Um, I have a Halloween candle surround that is actually from Kohl's, but it does fit a Bath & Body Works candle in there. I have the pumpkin carving scent for Halloween. And then as you saw, I added a Halloween hand towel. I'm going to add an identical hand towel here on the dishwasher and then switch out my fall mug for a Ray Dunn Halloween mug and add my other Halloween mug into the cabinet, getting so ready for the season. Oh. 
Okay, you guys, now it's time to tackle this Hobby Lobby chicken wire shelf. So, I just decided to make this super, super fun. It is on our kitchen table where we eat, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I wanted to add a small strand of purple lights and some of this spooky fabric, fabric draped over the top. And then I'm just gonna be adding some Ray Dunn pieces and some little signs from the Target dollar spot just filler pieces that just make this really fun and festive. Okay, so now we're actually in Grant's room and I, for the past couple years, have always put this little light up jack-o'-lantern in his room at Halloween time. I just love adding little special touches to get him really excited for the seasons. It's so much fun. And then we're also going to add all of his seasonal Halloween books to the bottom of the nightstand so we can read them for a nap and bedtime. Okay you guys, this is a different day. I wasn't able to decorate all in one day. So on this day, I decided to tackle our basement family room. I have really, really enjoyed decorating down here for fall and now Halloween. It makes the room so cozy and we find ourselves spending more and more time down here, which is what I've always wanted. So on the mantle, I'm going to switch out all, not all of this, but some of this for Halloween decor. 
And as you can see, I took down my little fall village that I had out and I'm going to switch that out for a Halloween village. All of these Halloween houses and the characters came from the Dollar Tree years and years ago. I'm, I believe I had this village when I still lived at home with my parents. So that was a long time ago. But I love just switching out little pieces like this and making it really festive. to add some of these bats onto this window frame. Um, the actual window itself is from my great grandmother's house and so I love having it. It's a perfect addition to this corner mantle and I picked up these little paper bats from Walmart this year and I got a tip. I, I believe it may have been from Brianna Kay but I just used painter's tape on the back of these so they'll come off very easily with no damage to the window frame or the walls. Okay, we're going to add one more piece of decor down here in the family room. Um, this room is in transition with the layout. We are thinking about rearranging um, with some things that may be coming up for our family as well. So I am scooting this antique table into the middle of this wall. It has the swivel out leg so it can become a full table. Uh, my mom gave this to me recently. Anyways, we are going to be adding a Halloween tree down here. This is a black tinsel tree with orange lights that came from Big Lots years and years ago. And I'm going to be adding a, a Halloween garland that I got back when Hobby Lobby still sold Halloween decor. And the ornaments you see are from Ross and I got those back when I used to work there. So all of this stuff is very, very old, but I still love to put it out. And you should have seen Grant's face when he saw this tree. I mean, he was all about it, you guys. And it makes me so, so happy to make the seasons fun for him. I tried to put this strand of ghost lights on the tree, but sadly uh, one of the bulbs must have been out because they weren't working properly and I really didn't want to fool with them this year. I didn't want to spend time fixing them. So I just decided to leave those off because I do have ghost ornaments that I'm going to be adding anyway.
And I also remembered to change out my wallflower plugin I'm using the scent Wicked Vanilla Woods for October. Okay, you guys, I'm going to share with you two final clips of the upstairs decorations and what they look like at night when they're all lit up. You can see I added a couple of spooky Halloween trees to the entry table that my aunt just gave me and it completes the look so well. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed Halloween decor inspiration. Comment down below and let me know if you decorate for Halloween. Subscribe if you're new. Don't miss all of my upcoming videos. We're doing Thanksgiving things and Christmas things and it's all coming up so soon. I will see you guys very soon with my next video. Have a great day. Bye. What do you think of it? What is all that? Can you say Halloween?